We uh, have a great team assembled today uh, to talk about an important issue. And uh, we've got some great speakers. I'm going to bring uh, Governor Martinez up here in just a few moments. I want to thank uh, a few folks that are with us today. I want to recognize Rio Rancho Fire Chief Michael Meeks, who's with us here today, Corrales Fire Chief Anthony uh, Martinez, Bernalillo County Deputy Chief uh, Frank Barca. Commissioner Johnson will be speaking in just a few moments. Uh, City of Albuquerque Emergency Manager Roger Ebner. Uh, Community Emergency Response Team Coordinator, which is CERT. Uh, Seth Muller is here. Uh, and uh, we'll be talking about them uh, more in just a few minutes. We are coming up on a holiday weekend. And we want to make sure that uh, folks are having a great time, as I said earlier, and spending time with their family, uh, celebrating the birth of this great nation. We also want to make sure that we're being safe and we're being responsible and doing everything within our power to make sure we're protecting our community, our property, and, and lives uh, in the city of Albuquerque. So with that, I would like to uh, introduce Governor Martinez, who's been just a, a great asset for me as a mayor, uh, working on public safety, uh, working on a, a fireworks bill in the legislature in the last several years as well, uh, to talk about uh, some of the uh, statewide uh, impl implementations uh, that they're putting into place to keep us safe. Uh, and then we'll have several other speakers come up as well. So with that, I'd like to introduce uh, uh, Governor Susanna Martinez. Thank you, Mayor Barry. Um, I'd also like to um, thank several individuals for taking part in today's effort. Corrales Mayor Philip Gasteyer, Albuquerque Fire Chief James Bream, Albuquerque Fire Marshal Victor Padilla, Rio Rancho Fire Chief Michael Meeks, and Corrales Fire Chief Anthony Martinez. I want to thank each and every one of you um, for your help as we pull together at the state of, at, and local level to combat the w wildfires that have recently affected our state. And a special thanks to the 929 personnel on scene that are fighting this fi these fires at this time. I have personally visited the incident command posts and have had the opportunity to actually witness these brave men and women hard at work protecting our families and our property. As we all know, New Mexico has been blessed with a natural beauty that our residents and our visitors enjoy daily. But unfortunately, sometimes our landscape comes with a cost. As we have witnessed yet again this year due to drought conditions, high winds and warm temperatures. With the 4th of July holiday approaching and much of the state facing extremely high fire danger, the threat of another posing wildfire jeopardizes much of our prized environment. Many of you will remember that last year's 4th of July celebrations were dampened by the Little Bear Fire, a fire that burned near Rio Doso and ended up becoming New Mexico's most destructive fire, destroying 255 structures and burning over 44,000 acres. This year, our state has experienced 247 fires, burning over 183,000 acres. But luckily, we have not lost a single life or had a single structure burn. I can't express how thankful I am that this is the case. Our thoughts and prayers go out to our neighbor's state of Colorado, where the Black Forest Fire near Colorado Springs took two lives and destroyed over 500 structures. And to our neighboring state of Arizona, where the Yarnell Hill Fire has burned over 200 homes and took the lives of 19 firefighters of the Prescott Granite Mountain Hotshot Crew, who were just recently helping fight the Thompson Ridge Fire in Hemis, which just yesterday was declared 100% contained. And in honor of the 19 fallen firefighters, I have ordered flags to be flown half staff from sunrise today to sunset on Friday. Individuals in the fire service share a very strong and unbreakable bond. And we join firefighters throughout New Mexico, Arizona, and these United States in grieving for their fallen brothers and sisters. With this being one of the worst droughts our state has seen 
and the driest June on record. We cannot let our guard down. We must remain on high alert. State fire restrictions have been in place across most of New Mexico since May. This means the state has banned all smoking, fireworks, campfires, open burning, and open fires on state and private lands. In addition to restrictions, the state has imposed on July 11th, I wrote a letter to all county and municipal leaders urging them to hold emergency meetings to vote on a local ban on the use of fireworks. And just over a week ago, I met with the leaders from all 22 Pueblos, tribes, and nations and asked their leaders to do the same. I am proud that Bernalillo County and the city of Albuquerque have implemented a ban on certain firework use on land within their own jurisdiction. And even more pleased that multiple counties, cities, and Pueblos have joined this effort. This temporary ban will still allow for professional firework displays to be safely executed during the holiday. So families can still enjoy the fireworks, but enjoy them safely. And similar to my efforts in previous legislative sessions, in the 2014 session, I will continue to push vigorously for legislation that will also allow municipalities, counties, and the state to enact temporary and localized bans on the sale of fireworks during extreme fire danger conditions, while still allowing for pro professional firework displays during festive holidays. I want to be very clear. The 4th of July should be enjoyed and remembered with families and friends. We just want you, your families, and your homes to be safe. I strongly urge all residents to attend a public firework display as these are larger, safer, and actually just more exciting. Many municipalities will be hosting professional firework displays. In addition, our state parks will also conduct public displays on July 4th at Eagle Nest Lake and Summer Lake, and on July 6th at Elephant Butte and Ute Lake. Do not be discouraged. Our state is still open for business. I encourage all New Mexicans and visitors to continue traveling and exploring the land of enchantment. It takes everyone working together to reduce human-caused fires during this time of increased fire danger. Once again, I ask you to keep the families of those 19 firefighters in your thoughts and in your prayers. They did give the ultimate sacrifice the ultimate sacrifice of their lives to protect the people that they have taken an oath to protect. They were even here in our own state helping us. All we had to do was ask, but they had to return to their own state to protect the people within their own state. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers while we're celebrating the 4th of July. Remember them. And remember the 900 plus that are still here fighting fires in our state. I thank you for understanding and for helping preserve the beauty of New Mexico for future generations to enjoy. And please keep our fire crews and first responders always in your prayers. We're still in the thick of a, a fire season. It is still dangerous out there. And our firefighters will continue to fight these battles every day to keep us safe. Thank you, and God bless our firefighters. We, um, if you look behind me, we've got uh, men and women from the Albuquerque Police Department, the Albuquerque Fire Department, Bernalillo County. We, we have uh, jurisdictional um, folks here from uh, when we're fighting fires from the state of New Mexico, from uh, the national uh, organizations as well. And I can just tell you as a mayor, when you watch all of these professionals come together, city, county, state, federal, um, it is really something to see. These folks know what they're doing. Uh, they're professionals, they're well-trained, and it makes me feel as, as, a, as just a guy that lives in this town, uh, very good to know that we've got professionals on the job. But I also want to recognize some of our volunteers who are with us here today. We have what's called the, emergency, uh, the Community Emergency Response Team. Uh, 
in, the, in, this, in this area. And you can see some of the folks here that are wearing uh, the CERT shirts, the CERT shirts. Uh, what these are, is these are volunteers. And we've been able to actually train uh, about 170 of these volunteers to help take phone calls, help educate people, uh, make sure that they're there in case if there's a disaster to work uh, with, with folks who've been impacted and, 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 and from a volunteer standpoint. Uh, so far this year alone, our CERT volunteers have uh, put in over 4,985 hours. So I'd like to give these volunteers a round of applause as well. And one of our volunteers is Steve Johnson. Is Steve here? Steve, your wife called. She said it's your birthday. <laughs> so uh, happy birthday to you. I, I literally have a note that says that here. So uh, happy, happy birthday to you, sir, and thanks, thanks for your time. Uh, she said, uh, please embarrass my husband on camera. So we did. Uh, <laughs> we have a certificate of appreciation that we'd like to give to, to the CERT group as well, and I might as well give it to you, Steve. And just really with, with, with heartfelt thanks, uh, we thank you guys for putting in your time and all that you do to keep us uh, uh, as a community together. So thank you very much. Thank we appreciate you. you. Last year alone, on July 3rd and July 4th, we had 720 calls uh, to the Albuquerque Police Department about fireworks in the city of Albuquerque alone. Uh, that is an awful lot of calls, and we just want to make sure that people are being safe and responsible as we enjoy celebrating our nation's birthday and spending time with family and friends. Uh, the governor hit on uh, public fireworks displays. I'm going to let Chief Breen talk in a little bit about uh, the, the fireworks that are for sale in the city of Albuquerque. But we want to make sure we invite you out to Freedom Fourth. It's right here at this beautiful facility, the Bloom Fiesta Park. Uh, it'll be from 3 o'clock until uh, the fireworks are finished on July 4th. You will be able to catch a, a parking ride at St. Pius High School parking lot or a Coronado Center parking lot starting at 3 o'clock on the 4th. Uh, for $1 for adults, $0.35 cents for uh, seniors and uh, kids under 9 for free. We'll bring you all the way out to Bloom Fiesta Park. You'll be able to enjoy a free event right here, one of the best fireworks displays in the state. We'll have kids' activities. We'll have the Firecracker Cafe. We've got uh, John Michael Montgomery, a great country artist, uh, headlining our entertainment this year. A lot of fun, uh, nice, nice green area for, for people to hang out. So uh, we'd really like to invite everyone to, to come on out. It's $10 if you drive, uh, if you're going to park here. But please, uh, Isotopes, I know, has great fireworks displays also. I think on the 4th, 5th, and 6th, they're going to have public displays there as well. So if you're uh, looking for a great uh, fireworks experience, please come out to one of our public events. Next, I'm going to bring up uh, Commissioner Wayne Johnson from Bernalillo County. We have great working uh, partnerships between the city of Albuquerque and the county, uh, great professionals on both sides uh, of that equation. And I'd like to have uh, Commissioner Johnson come up and share a few words with us as well. Commissioner, thanks. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mayor. Um, thank you for having me here. Um, but most of all, thank you to the professionals and the volunteers that work to keep Albuquerque and Bernalillo County safe. You know, fighting fire or preventing fires is really a, a, a community um, in, in involvement. I mean, it, it takes community involvement to prevent those fires and, and fight those fires. And uh, when you're representing a district that's about 150 years into a 100-year fire cycle, you wake up a lot at night worrying about the fire in the area. And the East Mountains, which I represent, is that area. And folks out there, we have banned the use of uh, fireworks in the East Mountain area. And even if you're tempted to do it, I encourage you to not do it. Come to one of the, the Albuquerque fire displays or state displays. It'll be a lot safer for you, and it'll be a lot safer for them. Um, the 19 firefighters that lost, lost their lives in Arizona remind us it's not just about celebration of fireworks. If you're irresponsible and you do start a fire, it could mean somebody's life. And that's a very important reminder for those of you who are thinking about using fireworks, even in the city where there are some that are, are legal. Perhaps this year is the year to say, we're going to start a new tradition, and we're going to do something that's absolutely safe, and, and go to one of the displays, or even just have your own backyard barbecue and forego the fireworks if you, if you want to just be with family and friends. So thank you again to everybody here, to, to our firefighters, to our law enforcement officers, to the public. You're the ones that will make this 4th of July a safe 4th of July. Thank you. Another great uh, partnership we have in this area are mayors. Uh, I'm not the only mayor around these parts. Uh, one of the mayors is a good friend of mine, Phil Gasteyer, from the village of Corrales. 
Uh, we work closely. We meet on a fairly regular basis. Uh, mayors all over the four county region and Pueblo governors and their staff as well. So uh, this is a team effort and I'd like to bring up uh, Mayor Gasteyer to say a few things about what's happening in Corrales. Thank you. Thank you, RJ. Um, you know, in Corrales, uh, twice within the last four years, we've had two major wildfires in our Bosque Forest along our seven miles of the Rio Grande. So we are very sensitive uh, to these uh, public safety problems that uh, our entire region encounters. And we've been blessed by the fact that virtually all of uh, these departments behind me have come to our mutual aid and assistance in those emergencies. Um, I want to make a special point, Governor, to, uh, to thank you for engaging uh, the Pueblos in your outreach to uh, provide a coordinated response. Uh, that's very important to uh, those of us in southern Sandoval County uh, that we work closely uh, with the Indian nations that are our neighbors. Uh, and I also want to thank Mayor Barry for putting on some wonderful public alternatives to backyard fireworks uh, with, the, uh, with the wonderful event that goes on here at Bloom Fiesta Park and of course uh, the baseball club and, and their uh, fireworks displays. And as a, a, another alternative that I ought to mention before I surrender the microphone here, you're all welcome at the 4th of July parade at 10 o'clock uh, in the morning in Corrales. It's an old fashioned 4th of July parade and it's terrific. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. We really appreciate you and your partnerships as well. Uh, next, I want to bring up Fire Chief Breen uh, to give you some of the specifics of what's allowed, what's not allowed, and uh, some of the uh, um, consequences if, if folks aren't doing the right things. Chief Breen. Sir, thank you. I'm here really to speak on behalf of all the fire departments and the fire chiefs that operate within the Rio Grande Valley. And I want to reiterate what the governor said as well as Mayor Barry. Um, attend a, fire, a public fireworks display. They're safer, they're enjoyable, family will have a great time. But if you have to buy fireworks, buy them locally. That way you can be assured that what you're buying is approved for use in your jurisdiction. And if you use illegal fireworks, you need to understand that you're putting your community at risk um, that you could be subject to fines and imprisonment, and you could be held fa financially responsible for the cost of extinguishment and any hazards or any, any buildings that are destroyed, not to mention it could injure or kill a firefighter. If you use these fireworks, use them, legal fireworks, if you use them, um, in the city of Albuquerque, they have to be used in a paved and barren area, and there has to be a readily accessible source of water available. And we're asking parents to closely supervise their children um, when they're using fireworks, and to keep fireworks um, away from them when you're not home. In Albuquerque, if you have a, um, if you see somebody engaged in using illegal fireworks, um, on July 3rd through the, through the 6th, between the hours of 7 p.m. and 1 a.m., you can call 833-7335, and your call will be processed and a unit will be eventually dispatched. Um, at other times, uh, when people are using illegal fireworks, you can call Albuquerque Fire Department non-emergency number, which is 833-7390. Um, all jurisdictions will, be in, will increase their patrols um, and will have a zero tolerance for the use of illegal fireworks or if you're not using permissible fireworks in a safe manner. Um, we want you to have a great fourth, but let's keep our community and let's keep our firefighters safe from harm. And we can only do that with your cooperation. Before we close and uh, go to questions, I do want to bring um, uh, Betty Rivera. She's my director of cultural services. She's the woman responsible for putting on all these great summer fest events you see around town and a lot of the, the, the great musical events at the zoo and some of those things. Barbara Bach is here as well. So uh, as we stand on this facility, a little uh, from an educational standpoint, we're on Betty's turf right here because this is the uh, Balloon Museum. Uh, when we go across the fence, uh, we're actually uh, on Barbara's turf over there. But the, these ladies work uh, fantastic together, and uh, Betty's put together a great program. I'd like to, to share just a little bit uh, more about what you can do on the 4th uh, out here at Freedom 4th. Betty? Thanks, Mayor. And thank you, Governor, for being here. This is a great honor because we get to really highlight how beautiful our city is and how wonderful our parks are taken care of. Barbara, as 
uh, get, uh, Mayor mentioned uh, Barbara Baca is in charge of our parks, and this park is just absolutely uh, fantastic. I think you all will really enjoy yourselves if you come out for Freedom Fourth. It starts at 3 o'clock, and we will continue until the fireworks are done, probably around uh, 9.30, 10 o'clock. Um, we, uh, we could not make this one of the largest independent celebrations in the state without all of you and without all of your help. I invite everyone to come to our park uh, this Thursday for a day of fun and free activities. Come out and enjoy the live music. Uh, as Mayor mentioned, John Michael Montgomery is our headliner, and he will start at 8.15 after he's done the, uh, the fireworks start. Um, parking at our park is $10 per car, and park and ride is $1 per person for adults, 35 cents for children and seniors. You can bring your own picnic. Uh, you don't have to buy anything here. You can bring what you like, your chairs, uh, your lawn chairs, your uh, blankets, whatever makes you feel comfortable. This is a family event for, uh, for all of us to enjoy, and it is free. So thank you for coming this afternoon. And don't you feel safe with all these guys back here? <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks, Betty. You always do a great job. And I'll, I'll be out here with my family. We'll be having a great time. So please, please do join us. Uh, one last note, uh, Barbara Bruin, who's the director of our animal welfare department, reminds us that uh, uh, Fourth of July can be a difficult time for our, our pets. So if you have pets that, uh, that get uh, uh, fired up over fireworks, so to speak, uh, make sure you keep your pets inside. Uh, if you have any issues, if you lose a pet, uh, please, we have a great program to, to try to reunite uh, pet owners with their, uh, with their families or with their, with their pets. So if something along those lines does happen, please uh, don't hesitate to call. But if you can have your animals, uh, your pets inside uh, for the fourth when fireworks are going off, that's always, that's always a great idea. With that, I simply want to say one more thank you to all the professionals here, the men and women who are out there every day risking their lives to keep us safe, um, to keep our, our property and our lives safe.